When you hear the word jambalaya, you probably think of this. But if you're a basketball card collector, you definitely think of this. Jambalaya basketball cards are insanely rare. In 97, a box of EX cost roughly 100 bucks. But to pull a single jambalaya out of a pack, you had to open about 30 boxes, or roughly 450 to get an individual player. Or in other words, it would have cost you about 45 grand to find an individual jambalaya card. But the cards aren't just popular because of their rarity. They were made using lenticular printing, which creates an illusion of movement and depth. But despite the popularity of the set, they didn't make it again until 2003, when we got one of the greatest rookie classes of all time. This time, the boxes had fewer packs and were more expensive. And although jambalayas were about 20% easier to pull at 1 in 24 boxes, or 1 in 360 boxes to get an individual player, it is clear that the cards are significantly rarer than the originals, because not only was the print run of the overall product much less than in 97, but if you look at the combined pop reports for BGS and PSA, you'll find from 2003, only 390 Jambalaya cards have been graded compared to 1,141 from 97. Still, some will argue that some players are just more likely to be graded. That is definitely true, but four players are actually in both sets. Kobe, Timmy, AI, and Shaq. And each of those players have been graded several times as much in 97 than in 2003. For Kobe, the combined pop report shows 147 of these, compared to just 39 of these, nearly four times as many, which explains why this card has sold 13 times at PWCC since the last of these did in March of 2022. That nearly two and a half year streak ends this Sunday, when this one sells at the PWCC Weekly Auction.